All right, I'm making this little video just to show everybody what I can do with a couple of Android powered devices hooked to an OBD2 sensor, a Bluetooth, I should say, OBD2 sensor on a uh, later model car. Um, I'm filming this with my uh, original Droid. I rooted it and installed a custom version of Android called Cyanogen Mod. And with that, that's, allowed, that's opened up all sorts of possibilities. I'm currently broadcasting a Wi-Fi hotspot from the very phone I'm recording to as I'm speaking um, to my Nook Color tablet. Yeah, that's the, that's the $250 Color e-reader. It is really a fully functional Android tablet as long as you install um, CyanogenMod to it as well. Uh, some of the cool things I can do with this means that um, I have... Right here, some of these icons right there. The little blue thing, that's called, um... Crap, what is it called? It's called... Tether GPS. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. Tether GPS. And what it is currently doing... Is it is receiving the GPS location... From the phone I'm holding in my hand... And it is sending it via the Wi-Fi hotspot to my Nook Color... What this means is that as long as you've got a GPS-enabled Android phone in your pocket, you can actually buy a Nook Color and use it as a full navigation screen. All the good satellite navigation goodness, except it's on something that's big enough to actually see. And I'm getting far more reflection of myself through here in, in the camera than I see. But Anyway, uh, this cool program is called Torque. And what it does is it connects to a Bluetooth receiver that connects to my OBD2 port. And I've got a just your basic 2005 Chevy Cobalt right here. I'm eventually going to set this up for my project car. But basically what it does is you can set up all sorts of different gauges that your car doesn't even have. Reading from the OBD2 scanner, it will tell you exactly what's going on inside your car. Currently, it's giving me voltage readout, which nothing on the gauges here. All the gauges here would do is RPM, fuel level, tack, and it's hard to see here, but you know, it'll give me fuel economy. It'll give me coolant temperature. But here I've got intake air temperature. I've got throttle position, just more accurate tack right there fuel level down to a percentage. I've, I've run this thing where it looks like it's flat on empty and then this is telling me it's about 12.5%, so that can be a real lifesaver sometimes. Timing advance. Just all that good fun shit. Uh, I'm, only, I'm only trying the, uh, the free version, so apparently there's a lot more that I can do if I upgrade. You can see just as I give it a little rev there. Kind of how it works. And since I'm sitting on a sand sill, yeah, my intake air temperature is a little warm right now. But if I was moving on the highway, it would probably drop, drop to just just a hair over 100. So I guess that's all I wanted to show everyone. Uh, basically all the things you can do with a basic Nook Color tablet. What I plan on doing is actually fabricating a dash mount. That I'm actually thinking of using this pocket here to anchor a dash mount to and I can actually insert and then remove this screen right about here and run it like that. I can have satellite navigation, I can have extra gauges on my car, I've got a project car that's far more interesting than this that uh, eventually I'm planning on doing a nice semi-permanent dash mount, meaning I can still take the nook out and use it you know, for other things but the mount will pretty much stay in the car. So, yeah, that's everything, so I'm done boring you guys for now, uh, that's all there is.